So we now know what an exponential curve looks like. We have something like y is equal to 2 to the x, and we now know that we can sketch it where the curve looks something like this, going through 1 on the y-axis. Now, if I wanted to solve an equation using something like this, so if I was going to look at 2 to the x is equal to uh, 2, for example, then I know that 2 to the x is equal to 2 when x is equal to 1. Okay, so I know that 2 to the 1 is equal to 2, so that makes sense. Then I could also solve an equation like 2 to the x is equal to 4. Now that's nice and easy because I know that x has to be 2. And then if I was looking at 2 to the x is equal to 8, well, in that case, x would have to be 3. Okay? Now, what if... I was looking at 2 to the x is equal to 5, for example. What is the value of x then? Ultimately, what we're asking here is where does the curve y is equal to 2 to the x intersect y is equal to 5? So here is my line y is equal to 5. I want to know the x value of where the, the straight line and the curve intersect. Now, in order to solve an equation like that, we're going to need to know about logarithms and how to work with logarithms in order to solve equations of this type. Okay? Now, logarithms are used all over the place. Okay? They have many, many, many uses uh, in biology, chemistry, economics, you name it, logarithms can be used. Okay? Um, so they have wide-reaching uses, not just in solving equations like this, but this is where the fun begins, effectively. Okay? So in the next video, I'm going to introduce some notation, some new notation, and introducing logarithms formally. But it's all going to revolve around trying to solve this equation.